The home cooks now have one hour to prep their signature dish for the judges. There's absolutely nothing more important than this dish right now. And this season, it will be harder to move forward than ever before. Not getting an apron is not an option for me. Only those who get a yes from all three judges will earn an apron and immediately advance to the top 14. I'm not getting less than three yeses today. I came here to win. Everybody better watch out because I could very well be Canada's next master chef. The next home cook aiming for an apron is Veronica, a lawyer from Toronto. Because I'm a lawyer, I am in front of judges all the time, and I'm used to working under pressure. I'm hiring Laura to put into the shrimp dumplings. I am making a traditional Chinese dumpling called the hagao. It's made out of shrimp, and mine are going to look like goldfish. I'm very happy with the way my filling tastes. My dough feels perfect. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. My goal in life is to become a Michelin inspector. A Michelin inspector is someone that basically identifies what the best restaurants in the world are. I'm getting three yeses for this dish. I know what good food is, and this is good food. It's going to be so awesome when the judges see my plate. I'm sure they all know what a hot cow is. I don't think they've ever seen one that looks like mine. Hello, hello. 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 What's your name? My name is Veronica. And what are you making, Veronica? Dim sum hakao, to be exact. It's a shrimp dumpling. Dim sum in Chinese means a touch of heart. And I like the idea that you put a lot of heart into every little bite. Why are you here? I have a 20-year plan, and I believe that winning MasterChef Canada will give me an express pass to the finish line. What's the finish line? The finish line is I want to be a Michelin inspector. The only person that would scare me more than a lawyer is a Michelin inspector. So if you become both, I will bow before you. <laughs> What was the inspiration for doing this particular dumpling dish? I saw this beautiful blue plate, which reminded me of a pond. And my grandfather actually had a koi pond when I was growing up. What do you know about Italian, French, other cuisines? Making pasta is not all that hard. You put it in the thing, you roll it out, and I think I can handle that. But pulling noodles, that's a real skill. Where do you get this confidence from? I am a lawyer. I'm used to being in front of judges. I know what good food tastes like. I know what good food is. And I think I have a Michelin quality dish right here. I'm done. This looks absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Well, you've made it look like a koi. Beautiful, and the wrapper just glistens there really nicely. You have bamboo shoots in here? No, I don't have bamboo shoots in there. So I actually put carrots in there as well as shiitake mushrooms. So you believe in adding a little twist to make them your own? I do believe in doing that. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Veronica! Wow, that looks impressive. You know, you have all the details there. It looks like a beautiful pond. You pick the most difficult dim sum, hagao. I remember a quote from you a long time ago where you said the hagao wrapper is the most delicious thing in dim sum. So I brought you a hagao wrapper. Well, it's true I said that, but it has to be the best hagao wrapper. I spent eight years learning how to make hagao and perfecting it. After all that work, this is the moment. Why? I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm impressed. That means a lot. I can taste the shrimp filling. It's perfectly cooked. The texture, just right. The wrap is, to me, perfect. It's translucent. It has a bite. Chewy, not sticky. Thank you. I love the dish. I love confidence. Yes. But you have to be able to back that up. I'm 100% sure that this is a good dish. Not because I'm conceited, but because I know good food. Good. It's not the best I've ever had, though. Really? No. Veronica, everything in that plate, I like. So, it's a yes from me. Thank you. Veronica, I'm going to keep things very short. I am fascinated by that confidence. I think the dish was a great dish, so it's going to be a yes from me. Thank you. So now I'm the last man standing between you and one of these aprons. You told us that you spent eight years perfecting that dish. Yes. In the MasterChef Canada kitchen, you don't even have hours sometimes, you have minutes. And I'm not convinced that 
you have the arsenal of ideas that can get you through at this point. I'm a lawyer, I'm always thinking on my feet. I'm always in front of judges, I can do this. Well, like any judge, I need proof. Unfortunately, this means no. But not all is lost. You have a second opportunity now to cook again. Understood. Well, Veronica, I'm really surprised Claudio said no. I have complete confidence in you. So go out there and prove Claudio wrong. Thank you. I'm not going home. I'm going to keep that in mind, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to do that. Next up is Mary, an insurance broker from Toronto. I guess I kind of fell into being an insurance broker, but food is my passion. It's all I think about all day. I'm here for me, and I'm here for my mom. I was raised by a single mother. I can't express to anybody how awesome she is. I've always tried to help her, and really, I took over the kitchen. Mary's been cooking for me and the whole family since she was about eight years old. I've always kind of done the, the right and responsible things. Mom, that, you're a terrible high-fiver, but I love you so much. <laughs> but this is my dream, and this is my time. Now it's time to see if Mary can earn three S's and a coveted white apron from the judges. Hi there. Hi. What's your name? My name's Mary. And what are you cooking for us today? Uh, lemon meringue pie. Sounds lovely. You've got a little less than five minutes to get it done. Okay, perfect. Mary, when did you start cooking? I started cooking when I was about four years old. Why did you start so late? <laughs> so late? Actually, I was in a, uh, my family was in a car accident when I was four. Uh, my mom and brother were both seriously injured. I wasn't. My dad passed away in the accident. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. I'm an A-type personality, so I always want to be there for people, and it's just kind of how I show them how I care. What do you do for a living? I'm an insurance broker, which uh, helped me when I wrecked my first uh, pie tart back out there. So I had insurance, and I made a second one. What's your culinary dream? I would love to run a catering business. I love sharing my food with people that I care about, and I want people to understand that you can make really good food at home and have a great time while you're making it. I say the same. Yeah. There's my dish. <laughs> well, right off the top, you put together a dish that looks, I think, absolutely wonderful. Let's have a taste. Outstanding. Thank you very much. Rich, creamy meringue, the zingy, fresh flavors with the berries, that crunchy texture of the sponge sugar, and the crispiness of that pastry. Just a wonderful, wonderful dessert. Thank you. <laughs> For me, a lemon meringue, the hardest part is to make sure that the fill is not lumpy. Let me give it a try. Wow. <laughs> Smooth as silk. <laughs> Spit of meringue here. <laughs> Got the right consistency. Maybe a little bit more color. Burn to, you know, to take a little bit away from the sugar, but this is amazing. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Thank you very much. This meringue is delicious, but it's very rich. Yes. In order for this to work, the tart needs to be tart. Yes. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. Well, Mary, I think we're going to keep this short and sweet. For me, it's a hands down yes. Okay. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm no fool. When I see talent, I know it. And you have that talent. So it's a yes. Oh my God. Come up here and grab okay. your apron. Ah! I bet you got so many people running at you. Thank you. Oh my God. We're excited ah, to see what you do next. Okay. You have really earned this. Thank you. So, welcome Thank you so to MasterChef Canada. Ah! Wake up and I'm gonna be like, oh, this never happened. But it is happening and I am so excited. Yeah.